Skyrock. What a pain in the butt to find. This is Skyrock. This is site number INY-334, as cataloged by UC Berkeley's uh, Department of Archaeology. And it is glorious. I can't back too far away from the camera, I'll end it up in a pit. It's in a very, very difficult place to get to. I think we're hour two on foot. Lugging camera gear. And I'm a big, sweaty, fat guy. <laughs> it was a challenge. It took a lot of sleuthing to figure this one out. For obvious reasons, nobody really publishes the locations of the crown jewel petroglyphs here in the volcanic tablelands. And I think it's kind of obvious why. All the other petroglyph sites we've uh, visited, they all show signs of uh, vandalism. Heather, no one really cares who you're dating. Heather, you scratched your, in, your name along with your boyfriend on a rock over 8,000 year old petroglyphs. If you wanted to come and see these for yourself, you can't because of Heather and her stupid boyfriend. There's just, I don't even know where to begin explaining to you the magnificence of Skyrock. It is in the same curvilinear style of all the other petroglyphs in the volcanic tablelands. Anthropologists have uh, correctly uh, credited this petroglyph and, and the other ones in the volcanic tablelands to the Mono people. These petroglyphs, this one here, probably around 8,000 years old. 8,000 years old. This one here is 8,000 years old, Heather, and I hope you never find it. From some of the photos I was able to get, the sky rock is full of all sorts of symbolism. Uh, squiggly lines, things to us that look like spaceships, um, circular patterns that we find, concentric circles that we find all over the tablelands. If we're grading these on a scale from one to 10 in terms of all the petroglyphs in the volcanic tablelands, this is an 11. The Mono people, they turned it up to 11 when they created this. Astonishing to see it. From here we can see animal motifs, maybe sketches of people. I can't even explain it. 8,000 years ago, somebody crouched under this rock here and sketched all this. Well, I shouldn't say sketch. They're, these are chiseled. You can't just scratch some drawing into this. You have to chisel it in. And the reason for that is a geologic phenomenon called desert varnish. You can probably see the outlines on the rock with a dark face. The dark face is just the basic chemical reaction between the air and the red pumice. The red pumice over time reacts with the atmosphere and turns a really dark color. So when you chisel down, you get a much lighter color underneath. Now the desert varnishing process takes 10,000, 15,000 years. And so this area is probably littered with other petroglyphs that we just can't see because they're so old, the desert varnish has reclaimed them from our sight. <clears throat> but the fact that we can still see this kind of shows it's, and archeologists say about 8,000 years old. There is, of course, no climbing on the rock. However, that is not stopping the lizard. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's a lizard right down here that's trying to scamper his way up. There's no food down there. I don't know what he's looking for. Right now, he's to the right of the sign. You can probably see the sign over here. He's just chilling. But of all the examples of prehistoric art, this one takes the cake. It gets all the cake, it gets the cupcakes, it gets the birthday punch, it gets everything. So that's it here from Skyrock, site number INY-334 in a volcanic table land. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give me a pity vote. If you like what I'm doing for my channel, please subscribe. You'll see lots more of this stuff. 
If you've got any questions, uh, just drop those in the uh, comments below and I'll get back to them. And as always, if you're in need, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye. Skyrock.